wanted to do a quick sort of screen capture style recording on the Sugihara website. So the Sugihara website, um, this is for all the bars that we do here in the UK. Uh, we're not the manufacturers, we're distributors. Um, if you go to the home page, you can see we've got a catalog you can download here. Uh, and this, this is all the bars that we currently supply. It's quite a big uh, catalog, so if you were going to print it, you'd want a laser printer, not an inkjet, because uh, it's got lots of black ink. That's the sort of colours uh, that we're using. It's got loads of info there about what the different bar part numbers do. Um, if you want to find out sort of from the catalogue what fits what, then you need to go on to, to have a look at the different groupings we've put the different chainsaws in. So we try to break them down into which group shares which bars and what size chains. Uh, so if we go down here a second. So if we look at the group one, um, you've got all the, uh, from the older saws, 009 up to the more modern ones, which is, you know, MS200, MS201, the top handled saws and the pole saws. And then if we then go down to actually look at what bars fit, uh, we try to do them, do them in order. We've got, for instance here, we've got a standard, we've got different, uh, markings that tell you if it's a standard fitting or universal bar mount or if you need to change the sprocket. So for instance if you look at this particular bar, um, this one here, you'll see that it's running 3 8 low pro 043. So that's the narrow curve cutting 3 8 low pro but it's still the standard fitting so you can run that on your standard sprocket. This bar here is a quarter pitch bar so it says check or change the sprocket. Most people will be having the 3 8 low pro drive sprocket, whereas this one uh, is a quarter quarter pitch bar. Uh, so yes, yeah, so, I mean there's pages and pages of bars there to go through. Again, all with uh, some of them a quarter pitch um, for the smaller steel saws, but that is non-standard. Hence, uh, you've got to check your drive sprocket. If, you, if you're not sure about that, then just stick to the standard fittings, stick to this, what runs standard on that saw, uh, because it, it all works fine. So that's the Sugihara catalogue. Um, if we go back now to the actual saw at Sugihara website. So you've got some information on the home page there. Um, you've also got more just general information about Sugihara uh, on the about page. Sugihara bars are probably some of the best bars in the world however you've still got to sort of look after them to get the longevity out of them so they won't automatically just last two or three times however much longer than a standard say Oregon bar or steel bar. You've still got to, to clean them properly, dress them properly to get that lifespan out of them and they can be quite finicky like that so that if you, because the rails are so hard, if you do heat um, the rails up too much or if you do if they you know something happens to them then they can chip and they can almost be more finicky than say a standard Oregon bar because the rails are so hard on these things and um, if you have a look at the uh, miscellaneous area we have got a dressing knife a diamond dressing steel for dressing the rails uh, I still tend to use a flat disc myself on a battery grinder and um, just purely because it just works for me but we have got a dressing knife there because a normal standard file just will not touch the rails on these bars so when you're looking at what you know so which bars fit my saw so say i've got a husqvarna 560 xp which is probably the most um seemingly the most popular ground saw at the moment uh, if i go to husqvarna and i look at the group threes all of these share the same chains and if i clip uh, click i can click anywhere there but all, every single one of these bars fits the 560 and again almost got I, I think we sort of overdid the range a bit slightly because we've just got pages of guy bars that will fit this saw um, looking at them specifically again check to see if it's standard or check to see if you change the drive sprocket because what we thought initially was that you could run possibly 3.8 slow pro or you could run 325 which is the standard or some of them you'll find will run uh, 38058 so the VH2T 
the VH2 mount is exactly the same mount as the BC3 mount here but the nose, this, this nose is 3 8 and this is 3 2 5. So if you want to just stick to what you know, just stick to the standard fittings and these, these are all on our other website chainsaw bars as well. Um, but if you do want to tweak it or you wanted to go low pro or you wanted to go up to, a, to 3 8 you do have to change the drive sprocket. Um, but we've got those bars as well here. So I mean, even just for that one saw, I can't see um, anyone else having as many guy bars. Interestingly, we've got in these bars here, which uh, run the 325-063. You can see the 063 here, gauge. And I was thinking that if you've got steel or, or husky saws, you could run the same chain, but it seems like either people aren't interested in doing that or um, maybe people just stick with one manufacturer. So they're either, mainly either steel or husky, and so it's not that relevant. So. Anyway, they're a good buy at the moment because you get buy one, get one free until they run out. Uh, we'll probably keep a few on hand uh, just for sort of posterity's sake. Uh, that one there, we've got the quick clap version which runs the... So for instance, if you want to run the 325050 chain which gives you a, a narrower kerf and that's uh, pretty much down to the new Oregon 95 TXL chain. And that's a brilliant chain really for all these sort of ground saws. It made of newer materials um, and it gives a, gives a faster, smoother, quicker cut. So there you go. So you've, we've also got um, Sugihara bars for Echo, all those Echoes there. Got a few for Dolmar. We've also got uh, multi-mount bars here. Again, haven't been as popular um, as I thought they'd be, but you can effectively run on the larger Huskies, if you look at the um, particularly the bigger Huskies, let's have a look, where are we here? The Group 4 Huskies will match the same as the steel Group 4 steels, so you can have a bar that runs on each. However, you do need to buy an adapter to go with those bars, so um, these tend to be the SV2U bars. These, these SV2 bars are exactly the same really as the STU bars, but the only difference is, is that tensioner hole there is seven mil rather than six mil, and that's the only difference. That's pretty much the only difference between the bars from the large steels and the large huskies is that, well, the slot's bigger on the steels is 12 mil, not nine mil, and the tensioner hole is slightly larger on the on the husky saws, seven mil. But it's a shame, really, that they're just not. You can't have one bar that just fits both those larger saws. But there you go. So hopefully, hopefully that's given you a bit of an overview of what's what um, and how to use the Sigahara website. One easy way to search for products is just to type it in up there. We have got some sprockets on the CE website. I still need to look at uh, adjusting those. But for instance, if you had a, I don't know, a steel MS200, you could put go there and it should bring up the, the sprockets that are relevant to that. Uh, another thing is if you just want to look for guide bars, this search box is really useful. So if you've realised that you, you know, you're looking for all the ST2U bars, so all the, all the steel, larger steel mount bars, you can just type that in there and then that brings all of them up there for you. Or if you're looking for a, a, particular, a particular guide bar, you can use this search box here, it's really handy.